DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Now a lot of my subscribers been hitting me up to cover this big nose Troy story. So let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era Facts. We did it better yep. Belly Belly Leathers Facts. ACG Boots uh. We 80s babies Ooh. In early 90s When it got grimy I was out of this world You could not find no. me Unless you checked the lobby Hustling was my hobby Damn. We was lobby boys yep. Before Jim Jones no. You could catch me at Harlem Eating Jim Bones uh. Now this whole situation might be a little confusing to you if you're not familiar with the whole Big Nose Troy, E-Money Bags, and Preem Beef, then it might be confusing, but if you're familiar with everything, then it should be straightforward to you. Now the whole beef between Preem and E-Money Bags is rather simple. Preem was selling tag cars through a chick named Z, and E-Money Bags put down $1,000 to get a tag car from Z. But... E Money Bags decided not to get the tag call. He wanted his down payment back and he wanted to put that money towards a navigator because Prodigy just gave him $2,500 for a song he did on the Murder Music soundtrack. So he was going to take that $2,500, put it with the thousand he gave Prem for the tag call, and just go get a legit car instead. But when he approached, you know, Prem for the money, Prem was brushing him off and treating him like he was a sucker and he wasn't feeling it. Now, long story short, E Money Bag seen Prem outside the Coliseum, started shooting at him, and he made a mistake and killed Black Just. Now, as far as Big Nose Troy go, him and E Money Bags was already cool, and he had his own problems with Supreme. So, him and E Money Bags decided to take the Supreme team to war. Now, Big Nose Troy and E Money Bags was looking at it like, look, if you're affiliated with the Supreme team, you run with the Supreme team, then we run it down on you, whether you're a rapper or not. And, you know, some of the people they ran down on was Irv Gotti and Ja Rule. And it was an incident that I ain't going to explain that's too gangster for Drink Champ. Now, the incident that Irv Gotti is talking about is too gangster to speak on on Drink Champs was basically E Money Bags and them found out they was in the studio and what studio they were in. They ran down on them, smacked them up and robbed them for their jewelry. Now, according to Prodigy, he says in his book that Cadillac Ty, a member of Murder Inc. at the time, was the one who sent the message to E Money Bags, letting them know they were going to be in the studio. And you know, he basically was the one that set them up to get robbed. Bags passed me his pager and told me to look at the message. They over here right now. Come get them. So when Prodigy said that, he put like the pieces of the puzzle together. Now, after Prodigy released his book, Cadillac Todd through several interviews saying that he had nothing to do with them being robbed and he could never text E Money Bags because he didn't have a relationship with him and he only had a relationship with Big Nose Troy. I ain't have no relationship with E Money Bags, I had a relationship with Troy. Now, whether Cadillac Todd had Irv Gotti and them set up or not to be robbed, Irv Gotti expressed that he'll never trust Cadillac Todd again. Hey, get your money, perform or whatever. Right. But I'm never going to trust you again. Right. How did they know where we was at? Now, supposedly Supreme put a head on Big Nose Troy and E Money Bags for 50 grand. Now, E Money Bags was killed in his um, navigator. He was shot more than 10 times. And they even recorded the shooting for Supreme to watch or whatever. And, you know, like three months later, Big Nose Troy was killed and gunned down. Now, both of these murders is some of the things that Supreme is in jail for right now. Very unfortunate situation. But anyway, get in that comment section and tell me what y'all feel. Do y'all feel like Cadillac Ty left that back door open for Murder Inc. to get robbed? Do you think he set it up? Or he telling the truth? You know what I'm saying? Cadillac Ty could have been mad at them and frustrated with them at the time because that album ain't dropped. Or nah, he kept it solid. He wouldn't do that to them. I don't think he did it to them personally myself. But tell me what y'all think. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One.